I did a joker here sharing two cards that I've created with the new Spabinders Be Bold collection or some products from this collection. So here's the first product. There's actually quite a few and I have another video uh, with some other um, sets from this collection. I actually wanted to only create one video but then it would have been, I don't know, it, it was just too long. So I separated the two. Um, and so this is another uh, die set. This is the lowercase uh, alpha and it also has numbers. Uh, the first one that you saw that those were these um, special characters, ampersand and hashtag and um, question mark and that sort of thing. Um, and this one here has all the uppercase um, alpha. And then I have another one to show you. This, these ones are the flowers. So I think it's called Be Bold Blooms, but I'm going to link everything down below in the description box in case I mess up the names, which it's, you know, it wouldn't be very surprising. I'm super bad with names. Um, okay, so you see that this set has a lot of, lot of pieces and it's actually, I don't know, this whole Be Bold collection is so fantastic. I think it's one of my favorites of all time from uh, Spabinders. So these are the colors that I used, um, kind of oranges and um, yellows and blues. I was gonna make cards with just blue, but then it felt so cold. And then I thought of the sun, you know. So that's how my um, inspiration for the colors came. And I'm gonna show you here how some of the well, all of them, how all of them are put together, but I'm just doing one example of each. Um, actually, well, the die cutting takes ages. I will be honest about that, but it is fun once you can start gluing them together and they come together, you know, and then you see all these beautiful uh, blooms. I don't know. It just makes me so happy, oh, this whole site, even when I'm looking at them now. So, um, they are very simple to put together. Uh, as you can see, some just have one layer, some have two layers. So very easy to figure them out. And then I'm, uh, you know, for these blooms, I'm uh, trying to add some dimensions. So I'm just uh, using my fingers. Um, I'm just bending those petals. And yeah, that's all there is to it. And I think this small piece... Um, actually goes with two of the things here um the one that i just put together i have no idea what these are called you know so i don't know how to refer to them but this is the other one that has the same stem uh, as you can see so um multi-purpose um yeah so this one has three layers actually okay and then i die cut all the um, letters that I needed. So I'm creating uh, Keep On Crafting using uh, a mix of the um, lowercase and uppercase uh, alphabets. And I actually glued together two layers of white cardstock to create um, dimension. And I will be adding color to these later. Um, so I decided to create two uh, normal slimline card so that is eight and a half by three and a half and you see I even love this uh white on white but yeah I you know I have to add color and uh, at the end um so one of the cards I kind of uh wanted to have a split design um on so I will um glue down this here in the middle uh, and by the way, this never stop making is a, a, a spellbinders hashtag that we always use. So I kind of I wanted to do something long uh, with the hashtag. So this was actually the perfect size. And so this split design, I wanted to create um, or tuck behind the sentiment, um, the flowers at the top and the bottom as well. So you will see that I'm actually cutting uh, or trimming off these um, stems. Um, and 
because of this reason, uh, the other card that I wanted to make, I wanted to make sure that you can um, see more of the, the stems, you know, and the flowers. So there I actually put the sentiment at the bottom. So I have more space at the top. If you, I hope that makes sense, but you will see what I mean. And here I'm just, um, you know, I, I organized or laid out what I wanted to, to do. And um, now I'm just gluing everything down, mostly using liquid glue. And um, for the bigger blooms, I used some double size, sided um, did adhesive. And this reminds me that my barely art glue is empty. And I'm so sad because... I cannot buy it here in Europe and I actually checked in the US everywhere it's sold out. So I have no idea what I'm going to use <laughs> from tomorrow on. <laughs> oh, well, actually, when you see this video, I already will have used something because I have a lot of projects for this day. So that I haven't done yet. So, yeah, I have to figure out something. Oh, anyway. Um, so I'm just kind of making sure that I have uh, a mixture of color, uh, blues and, and oranges and yellows everywhere. And um, yeah, it, there's no, really there's no rhyme or reason to, to what I'm placing where. Honestly, I don't think about it. Just whatever looks good to my eye in that moment. Probably I would do something else today, but you know, um, but I am happy with how these cards turned out. Um, and I don't say that often about my cards, but I, I don't know. The colors make me happy and they remind me of something, but I, I just cannot figure out what I've been thinking about it for weeks, <laughs> but I don't know. Anyway, um, so here I was a bit, um, indecisive because I did not want to add uh, an even number of those big flowers, but I, I don't know why, don't ask, but um, it didn't look good at adding three because they are quite large and I wanted to use all those pretty berries and um, branches. So I stuck with the two, So, but it's not symmetrical as you can see. So yeah. Um, I dye got a lot of flowers, um, but actually I don't, I'm not going to have a whole lot left. Um, normally I, I dye got way too many and then I end up with more projects than I planned. But in this case, I, I think I could have, um, made one more card, like a smaller card. Um, but then I didn't want to. So yeah, uh, I only have these two slimline cards. Um, and you can see that I'm trimming apart some of these um, larger branches because I wanted to, you see here, I wanted four of those berries to be seen, not only two. So I just cut them apart and rearranged them. Um, you can do that. I mean, nothing or no one says that you have to use everything the way they were intended, right? Okay. Um, I'm about to finish this one. I kind of followed, you know, the, the top row, the way um, I laid those out, out first, but um, not entirely. So I wasn't very, I wanted to say OCD about it, but I don't, I should rather, yeah, I should not say that. But anyway, I wasn't very particular, let's say. Um, Okay, so this is done and I'm going to uh, set it aside for now, but I'm going to uh, come back to it later. And here is the other one that I was uh, talking about. So here you will see more of the uh, stems. So it's a little bit of a um, different design. So, But the same concept, so I'm just going to tuck everything behind that um, sentiment strip that I... Uh, attached with some um, double-sided adhesive or foam tape. Um, yeah, so once I figure out what I want to do with this, 
I'm just going to start to glue down everything. And here again, also the, the big blooms, I use some um, foam tape on to give them some more dimension. And I also bent up their um, petals and for the little flowers as well. Uh, the leaves, um, I actually die cut all from uh, blue, um, but different shades, darker blues mainly. So those I don't have in oranges um, and yellows. Some of this cardstock is from Spabinders, but the textured ones are from Basil. So uh, I will link the Spabinders ones if I remember which ones I used. <laughs> uh, I will link them in the description box below. The, the Basil, I'm sorry, I can't. Uh, I haven't bought any basil cardstock in years so uh, since then i think american crafts bought them uh, i don't i haven't even found a, a basil website so um I, I don't know i wouldn't be able to identify the colors they had so many so um you know th those I'm, I'm just gonna tell you that they are from basil if you want to have a look around uh, surely you can still find them Okay, so I'm about to be done with the all the adhering part here. I'm not even sure why I left so much of this in the video. I guess it's not very interesting to to see. I, I don't know if it's helpful at all. Okay, so um, yeah, so that's all I have left at the top, you see. So that's not a whole lot. And here is where I come in with uh, some color. Um, here for, for this um, hashtag, keep on crafting, I decided to go with um, the same color for each word. So yellow for keep, orange for on, and um, a blue for crafting. And then I just used a very dark navy for the hashtag. hashtag. And for my other card, um, I decided... Uh, to do something different because that was one kind of one word because well you will see so these are also new products um the, these gems uh, i think this is the sapphire color and it was perfect with the uh with my color so i decided to add a little bit, bit of something something um here and there you will see in the close-ups um i think better that the colors are really beautiful um okay so that card is done and um the other uh card i'm going to i didn't uh, show you how i finished that card apparently but he here it is i just use different colors um for the letters and you know in a in a specific order and then repeat okay Anyway, I hope you liked uh, these cards. I hope I could give you some uh, inspiration. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.